you know, you, you are readying yourselves to deliver machines to customers right now in, in the next few months or so, I imagine. Um, but that your, your plans for the next version of your sequencing machines, um, which would be in the next four years or so, uh, calls for them to be able to sequence an individual's genome in uh, 15 minutes for um, less than $100 of cost. And that, to me, uh, that time scale for that arrival of that sort of technology um, was just, uh, I was kind of dumbstruck by it because it seemed very much like announcing that, you know, the future is now. And so I was wondering if you could talk about um, your impressions of is the scientific community, is the society at large prepared to deal with the potentially enormous wave of uh, genome sequence data that will um, appear before we know it, applications of that information? Well, that's a very meaty topic, and we could go on for hours on that. But let me, let me start with, you mentioned about the future is now and the, the four-year time frame. Uh, while, while we think it's pretty innovative technology and pretty breathtakingly new, in fact, that achievement will merely meet the expectations of the equivalent of Moore's Law yeah. that's going on in the, in the sequencing space. That it, a funny thing happened in, uh, from 19, I don't know, 93, I think, to, 19, to 2004, sequencing was following a, a trend that was essentially the same as Moore's Law. And that in 2004, in the 2004-2005 time frame, it just, there was a bend. And it, and it went from uh, uh, doubling every you know, couple of years or so on to going tenfold every year, yeah. which is considerably faster uh, uh, acceleration than, uh, uh, than Moore's Law. So um, our 2014 instrument, while we think that our technology is the only one that has a chance of getting there, uh, is in fact going to be exactly on uh, uh, on that trajectory of tenfold per year from uh, 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 from now until then. So uh, it's not um, uh, perhaps unexpected. In terms of uh, the what is is society ready for the data? In many ways, I think not. The and and there, that's at many different levels.